This is my home art cooler fan uh, that I showed you earlier on YouTube. And it's what I've done is I've replaced the old shivs with these new uh, steel shivs. They're TB Woods brand. And uh, the old shivs that I had were these old die cast. Uh, this came with a motor when I bought it. And it was out of round a little bit, so there was a vibration in the fan. And the same goes for this, this smaller shiv for the driving motor. And I also removed the old antique motor. Unfortunately, I, I wanted to keep the antique motor, but uh, it was having issues with the speed. There wasn't very, there wasn't a big difference in speed between high speed and low speed. So uh, I had to uh, get a new motor because I didn't trust it. And this one has thermal protection. And it's actually a, a third horsepower evaporative cooler motor, uh, A.O. Smith brand, and I ordered it through Granger. And uh, I also have, like I said, a new shiv here. And I removed the old speed switch because it wouldn't work with this new motor, unfortunately. It must have been a proprietary design with the, the original uh, Craftsman appliance motor. But I'm going to go ahead and put the, the, uh, the switch back because it looks a lot better having the original switch. I also added this Dayton two-speed switch on the side. Uh, it doesn't look real great. It doesn't fit the original look of it. But it's a lot more functional uh, because I, I didn't want just a one speed motor. And uh, I'll give it a quick little demonstration before I put the cage back on. It's very quiet, there's very little uh, movement in the pulley itself. It's a much quieter fan and, and before the fan was actually rocking back and forth like this because of the vibration in the pulley that was out around so uh, I think this will work out a lot better.